what's up everybody welcome back to another toy review and unboxing today i have something special and today i have decepticon predator king and this is the transformers platinum edition and this is predator king with all five figures and you can see here this is the box it says platinum edition so this is on top of the box it's a transformers platinum edition and this is the box art and it says 2014 30th anniversary transformers so this is a came out in 2014 and in the back you can see predicane and right here predicane is a perfect warrior powerful remorse powerful remorseless obedient and near nearly unstoppable he hunts Autobot with a predatory intensity absent from even the most diabolical of his Decepticon peers. The massive x-ray laser that he carries as a primary weapon is an instrument of singular, destructive potential, capable of incinerating entire forests, liquefying steel and cement, and instantly turning the, an entire battlefield into a blasted landscape of rubble and fused glass. So right here, and you see this is Predacon Dive Bomb, Predacon Razor Claw, which is a tiger. This one is like a falcon. This one is Predic Predacon Rampage. He's like a ti what tiger? And this is a lion. So right here they have Predacon Torex. So he's like a bull. And Predacon Headstrong, he's a Rhino. And look at the spec right here. Strength is 10, Intelligence is 5, Speed is 3, Endurance is 9, Rank 7, Courage 9, Fire Blast 9, Skill 8. So when they transform and combine, they turn into this giant robot called Predacon. So he looks pretty cool. So let's take him out of the box and see what's inside. So first you can see just the weapon packs of all the guns and swords Freddy King has. And the box is like five years old so you know it's kind of hard to take out everything but I kept it in pretty good condition from the outside so as you can see here. It's hard to do it with one hand, so right here you can see the instruction. And here's Predakin. Let me take him out because it takes a while to take this guy out. And I will be back. All right, so I got Predakin out of the box. He's fully assembled in robot mode, giant robot mode. And he looks pretty cool. Um, not as cool as box art. But the Platinum Edition is different from like the regular edition that we got from like 86. Is this part it's supposed to be yellow, now it's gold. And it's gold all around for all the robots. So they just mix, turn all the yellow parts into gold. So he looks pretty neat, as you can see here. Let's check out what's inside this. So right here, first thing I saw, foil stickers. And this one, I'm not sure for which robot, but they all come in gold. So you just have to put it on the robot yourself. And it comes in gold and all of it. This one is silver, so it's pretty cool. And it's in Japanese. And I got this on Amazon for like 150 bucks. So this one's also silver and gold. And this is the instruction. Oh, here we go. This one show you all the where the sticker goes. There you go. This is all the sticker of which credit cons that you need to put on. So they have all the character right there. You can put it on. And this is all the instruction. And this thing is big. So yeah, I had to do an unboxing on the floor because this box is so big, my desk will not fit everything. Wow, 
this thing is huge. Okay. There we go. Seems like I'm opening up a map. So, they label headstrong. From robot to beast. And razor claw. That's the that's the lion. And how to combine them all into a predicate. And that's accessory. Predicate comes with a sword. And you use dive bomb wing for the wing in the back. The head. And the cannon. So you just have to put them together right there. And in the back. It's the other character, Rampage. How to transform, he's the tiger. Dive bomb, that's the falcon. And Torox, he's a bull. And there you go. So this is the instruction on how to transform him. Uh, I bet you most of you guys are familiar with this. If you guys grew up in the 80s, you probably guys have one of these or know someone who have one of these. So there's a sticker instruction on the side. Let's check out the weapon. So the weapon is all over the place. So I know this is from for dive bomb. Got this thing. So you mount it right here on the wing. There you go. And this is a sword for each robot. I think one of them comes with two swords. Yeah, so much extras. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. And this is all the guns. I'm not sure which one go to which, but you guys could tell me later. So let's un Transform him to animal mode and I'll be back. All right, so I just transform him, take him apart and transform him to animal mode. So this guy is a tiger, falcon, lion, rhino, and a bull. So as you can see in the back, each of them are distinctive in their own way, but Two of these transform pretty similar and Razor Claw and Rampage they transform pretty similar too like as you can see one is a lion one's a tiger it looks pretty similar so let's transform them into uh, like robot mode so you guys can see so at first I have Rampage right here he looks pretty cool as you can see right there I'm gonna move the camera All right, so I'm back and I need to remount my camera. So all you do is take off his guns on the side, pull his rear leg into his thigh, fold up his tail, pull down his leg. And look at this, this is still a die cast right there. It's made of real die cast metal. So this thing, or premium quality just like back in the 80s so you just have to do undo his feet pull it out pull out his little toe right here there you go pull up, turn his head rotate his head pull it down that's his robot head it looks like a ninja <laughs> and take out his pull out his arm and his arm is a little bit short compared to his body and just fold up his leg to the shoulder and you have rampage and just mount his gun you mount his gun like that and he looks pretty cool so that's rampage and this next is razor claw so let's do razor claw He's the lion in this one. So what you do, you take out his guns, pull out his arm, and this guy's arm is even shorter than Rampage. I don't know why, but it's really short. Pull down his lion head, turn it, and pull it down. 
slip his head up. And pull his front leg to his back. And right here, you fold up his hind legs into his thigh. Pull out his leg. And undo his feet. Fold up his tail. Just like Rampage. And his gun, you mount it on the side right there. And that is Razor Claw. Next, I should do Dive Bomb. So let's lean him against the box because he's so heavy. So two down, three to go. So Dive Bomb is pretty similar. Also made Die Cast right there. And then when you twist it, you can hear a racket. Down. So just undo the, le the feet. They have to fold it with his, his, his tongue and pull down his feet, his leg, pull out his arm. And I like how about this arm is like regular length, not too short. And pull out his, his hand through this little slot right here. And I guess it's stuck. There you go. Just have to yank it out. And this is Dive Bomb. You can put a gun on here. I'll just put it aside. And he looks amazing. So I'm going to lean them against the wall like that, or the box. So this razor gun. So let's do this rhino. Take out the weapon, pull out his leg, and fold up his line hind legs. And his feet's ready out, so you don't have to do much. Push in his front feet. And put his head back, and there you go. This guy's weird. His arm just, just come down straight, and it doesn't even move that much. It doesn't move side to side, but look at his head. His head's weird. See that? Yeah. There you go. He looks weird. And his name is Headstrong. So I have four and one to go. So this guy is the same way. Take out the weapon. Turn his head over. His head is in the bottom, and his arm is right there. I love this guy's arm. It's a lot longer than the other Predicons, or other Predicons. So yeah, he, he looks kind of normal to me compared to the other guys. He's actually tall too. Oh yeah, and you fold up, fold down the hind leg, or the front leg. So that's Torax. He looks pretty cool. And this part is made out of die cast, so it's, it's really heavy. So there you have it. This all five Predacons. And let's transform them to robot mode.
finish combining Predaking. And yeah, it's take a while, like at least five to six minutes to put everything together or maybe longer. Depends on how you do it. But yeah, this guy looks huge. And, and his movement are very limited because the ratchet and everything, and you don't want to move him a lot. Because you hear it. So it's very dip. See stuff keep falling out. So yeah. It's really hard to just move him around. And this wing keep falling off. And the leg, you could just move a little bit. And that's about it on each side. Yeah, you can see that. That's about it. And his head doesn't move at all. Um, arm just a little bit. It depends on... Because this guy is very heavy and they use a lot of die cast on this thing. Alright, so let's compare Predaking with my other Transformers. So this is a Legendary class Willy and compare him. He's a big giant compared to Willy. You can see the size is just crazy. And Prowl next to Predicane. Look at that. He's a little baby. And let's compare him to his Conrad. Soundwave. This is the war for Cybertron Siege. Siege war for Cybertron. So you can see he's a huge robot. And I think he's taller. Let's get a ruler. And he's about a, almost a foot tall compared to Soundwave. He's about five, let me see, about six and a half inches. Compared to Predaking, he's like a foot tall. And this is Siege Shockwave. And yeah, it's up to his kneecap. And this guy is about six and a half inches too. Almost seven. But yeah, this guy is crazy big and heavy too. And he couldn't move a lot, so because everything is made out of die cast and it's just pretty much you have to pose him like that. Can't really play with him, it's so heavy. I think this thing weighs like five pounds compared to these guys just plastic. So yeah, he looks cool, looks amazing. I hope you like this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Smash the like button. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get future notification of my new video on this toy review. And I'll catch you guys in the next toy review. Peace out.